here and uh so obviously like it's gonna be shot today uh but when that happens how much of that is just you hitting open shots and how much of that is something else happening in the offense that maybe you don't see before your shot goes up and if so what is that I mean I think we just ran really really good offense it's offense that we had and I guess they just weren't I mean I, I just got open so the teammates found found me in the right spots and I had the shot we were just running good offense was there something about Ross and Derek? Was there something about the movement or the flow that set up more open threes than there have been in the past few games? Uh, not necessarily. We were just running, you know, a lot harder than we usually do. We we knew our offense. We have to run a lot harder, <clears throat> and so that gives us open shots and especially open threes for Aaron. Uh, Aaron, can you tell me about what it's like? to be in a zone like that and maybe how long it's been for you since you've been in a zone like that, how it felt? <laughs> when you get, I mean, it's hard to explain when you get in a zone like that. I mean, I've I've been in a zone like that a lot of times in my life. And the best the best two, two three years, it's, it's been harder to get it here with injuries and stuff. So when you get it, I, sometimes I get in practice or I, I get in the off season, but getting in the game is just like the ultimate rush and the ultimate feeling. Because it just feels like everything you put up is going to go in, and then, and then when when it does rattle, in, like I had one that I was like, oh man, it just rattled out, and it happened to go in. It was just an unbelievable feeling. Uh, <clears throat> Aaron, this is actually your first. I'm not sure if you know this. Your first 20 point game since your first game at Northwestern. Um, at Minnesota, my freshman year. But since my yeah. freshman year. Yeah, exactly. Since your freshman year. Um, could you just talk a little bit about what it means to you to? have this game after all the injuries that you've suffered? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it means everything to me. I mean, I've, I've been down a lot since the injuries, and it, it's really hard to go through something like that. But you got, you got great teammates like Derek and the rest of the guys. They tell me, hey, you can still shoot it. And they see, they see me, how hard I work. They push me to work harder. And then they have the ultimate belief in me. Like guys before the game, they're telling me, hey, I think today's your day. And they say that every day, whether it's games I don't get in or games like today. So I mean, it's just the, it's just the work I put in. And then the, like guys next to me just just uh, motivating me to do better and then finding me when I'm open. Chris was saying that he kept telling you to, you know, be patient. You're going to get your opportunity. Um, did you believe that? <laughs> I, I mean, it's really, really hard for a, a young kid like me. To, I'm 22, still young, 22 years old, to be patient and wait on your moment. But I mean, you, you got to believe it. Like every day, I would just come and just shoot and try to work out and get extra workouts in. And hopefully one day, my, like my day would come, and then today, it came, and I was ready for the moment. Derek, do you think this win can prove to be a springboard for the rest of the season? Oh, definitely. Uh, every win is a uh, big for us, especially in the Big Ten. It's hard to win, so you know every win we got to use it as a momentum booster, just to you know catapult us into the next game. Aaron, I'm also wondering, <clears throat> after playing only 12 minutes this year and now playing 20 in one night, how that felt? Because I know it could be, uh, you know, game minutes might feel a little different yeah. how your legs held up. I mean, I've, I feel like I've, I've kept in pretty good shape. I mean, there was only one point in the game where I got really tired, and that's when I airballed the, the shot. I thought it was going in, but I airballed it. I just kind of laughed. I was like, oh, that's what it feels like to play five minutes again. So I, I got through that, and I felt great the rest of the night. Um, Derek, you hit a thousand career points tonight. What was that moment like for you? Did you register it at the moment, or? Uh, uh, to be honest, it's, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Uh, I mean, to even think, I don't, I don't think I scored 800 points in high school. So, to you know, to do it in Big Ten and to do it at, at such a high level, it's just you know, surreal. So, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy about that. And Derek, can you talk about um, how it feels to see uh, Aaron have a night like he had, and how do you think you know the rest of your teammates feel about his performance? No, man, I mean, we're we're a close group, and so, you know, we're real tight-knit. So, I mean, I came in with this guy, and, I mean, every day, like he said, like he's been riddled with injuries. So, you know, just, just being a good friend off the court, just, you know, telling him, like, your time is coming, like, keep working, like, you know, got to have something planned for you. So, you know, just him being ready every day, you know. It was great. You know, when he was making shots, you know, I felt like I was making shots. So, I mean, it, it's fun for all of us when, you know, we're all doing something as a team. Uh, defensively, just how important was it for you guys to just wall off the paint to you know keep Langford out of there, basically? And how much easier is it when they're not hitting threes that you guys are able to kind of clog it up with a few more bodies? Uh, we know we know they're a good driving team, you know. So we, that was a big emphasis of ours, just making sure that you know they they didn't get to their favorite hand or their favorite move. So you know we made it you made it harder for them flooding the floor over when they did try to ISO. So we made it hard in that regard. Any other 
questions? I got one. Jared, um, after watching your game for a couple of years, do you do you pattern yourself after any of the in, in, any player? Or, I mean, you look like you look like, like like Zach Randolph a lot to play. This. I mean, I just try to be Derek Parton. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I do watch a lot of, you know, a lot of NBA players and a lot of college players, but, you know, I just try to, you know, take a little bit from everybody, you know, and make it to my game. So. Aaron, was there one moment when you realized that you were on? Was it maybe that, that one that bounced off the rim and backboard and then went in, or was there a different moment? I mean, the first one I hit, I was like, and it, I cleaned it and went in. I thought I was on right away. Then the second one just confirmed it. So at that point, it's just about me getting open and getting to my spot. And I just felt like I was in a zone since then. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.